Did you know that 200 million years ago India wasn't where it is today? Believe it or not India was right next to Antarctica. But how did we know this? In the year 1912, a scientist named Alfred Wegener proposed a theory called continental drift. He claimed that all the continents that we see today were once a part of a supercontinent called Pangaea surrounded by a massive ocean named Panthalassa. Here's of Pangaea looked and as you can see India was snuggled right next to Antarctica. About 200 million years ago Pangaea began to split forming two giant land masses Gondwana land in the south and Laurasia in the north. Over the time Gondwana land began to fracture giving rise to the continents that we see today. But how did Wegener prove this? Let's dive into his fascinating evidence. Number 1, the coastline puzzle. Have you noticed how coastlines of South America and Africa fit together like a pieces of a jigsaw puzzle? This was one of the Wegener's key observation. He believed these continents were once connected. Number 2, age of rocks. Using radiometric dating, scientists discovered that the rock belts on the coast of Brazil matched perfectly with that of the Western Africa. These ancient rocks were formed when the continents were joined. Number Number three, placer deposits, and this is an interesting one. The coast of Ghana is rich in gold deposits, but oddly enough, it has no source rock for these golds. So where did the gold come from? Brazil. This suggests that two continents were once neighbors, sharing their resources. Now here's a fun thought: What if these continents never drifted apart? 